Welcome everyone to another episode of Green Hill. I am stocked up. I have all my metal armor uh, put on right now because I did break a few pieces of my other armor. So I am fully equipped right now. I have my uh, metal ass. I have a spare metal. Actually, let me check. I might have... Oh wait, no, that's right. I don't have full armor yet because these are still kind of good. They're 36-38%. Uh, so I've got metal armor with me. And if it comes down to it, I'm dumping the armadillo armor and putting the metal armor on. So I do have an extra metal axe cast. I have my arrows. I have uh, at least one of each dressing type beyond the leaf bandages. I really could use more. But I at least have those. I have some charcoal if I get indigestion for something. I have some spoiled bananas I've got to take care of. Uh, so I do have some spoiled food. That's okay. Uh, we got basically everything we need. We should be able to gather stuff along the way. And I am fully nutritionalized. So we're going to head out. And my plan is to try and make it first at least to the... I would like to go back to the fishing camp. See if we've got some fresh cans there. Try to grab some stuff like that. Because I know I can easily get back from there. And depending on what I find there, maybe try to make the way over to the drug camp the little drug production facility because there's gonna be some supplies over there we can get so i'm back here in the totem cave uh the one that i used to pass through towards the area with the plane everything came to again last time let's see if i can make enough room because there is an iron vein that has refilled so i want to go ahead and grab the more iron because that's what more of this trip is about so of course when I finally say, you know what, let's go do some major exploring, it finally starts raining. So, odds are I'm going to get back to my camp, and the rain's going to have no effect on the shower that I set up there. And here I am back at my original camp, the abandoned village, which I have not been here in quite a while. And, of course, all of the uh, meat I had left is completely spoiled. And yes, finally, we are back into rainy part of the season, or at least the beginning of the rainy season where it's not raining constantly, but we're getting some rain here and there, which means when I finally get back to the Anaconda camp, I'll be able to actually wait and let it do some raining there so I can fill up the shower and give it a test run finally. And now, as you can see, I am here at the, uh, the far fishing camp. And let's check around. Oh, the snack has respawned. We'll go ahead and eat that. I know I am going to be uh, sleeping here because it's getting late in the day. Yes, empty cans. Oh, okay. So it is time now to swap out some armor. So that's my metal armor. That's metal armor. There's armadillo. Put that on. Go with this. Oh, armadillo. Put that on. There we go. So we got some armadillo armor to leave here, which is convenient because there's armadillos all around, or at least some areas. So if I have to stay here at any point again, I'll be able to make use of that. We got more charcoal again, so that's good. This. You know, I have built here in the past. I loved this location for building, and it's got a pretty good proximity to certain things, but... I just did not want to do it again. I want to do something different. I built at the uh, the drug facility. Decent little place. Had a lot going there. Just did not want to stay. So it's very early morning, you know, late night. You know, it still hasn't come up with the sun. It's raining again. And I just decided, you know, instead of trying to go through the jungle to get to the drug den, I'm going to take the shortcut, which really isn't a shortcut. Because it is kind of the long way around, but it's the easier way around. Because the only thing I really have to worry about up ahead is a black caiman likes to spawn at the corner up here between this bit of river and the big river delta over here. And then past that, the rest is pretty much tapirs, you know, so <clears throat> forth like that. The friendly ones I like to eat. And then there is a spot where the... The headhunters like to patrol, or at least used to patrol. 
and uh, past that, then I have a spot where I can easily get to the drug den, and we have got Mr. Black Cayman coming at me. Oh, and look at that. Headshot worked correctly this time, and I... I'm good on food. I am not going to waste my storage uh, weight on some black caiman right now. And so yeah, you just follow along the beach. You'll come to a spot where it's easier to go around this rock formation than try to swim in the water. Plus, there's piranha. And there's like a little washed out area here you can follow up. Ooh, and I can already see... Yes, rattlesnake. Alright, not getting attacked. You know, the snake is not attacking the other creature there, but it'll attack me. That's all he cares about, attacking me. But yeah, you keep going down this way. You'll get to a point you can't go any further. And just before that point, you can actually turn and go uphill. I'm trying to remember where that spot is exactly. But there is a spot that is really easy to walk up. I think there's some lizards that like to run around there. And it just makes it a lot shorter. Uh, or a lot less trouble to get to the drug den that way. Ah, oh, there we go. That's the other little washed out area. I'm just gonna go up this way and get to the drug den. And this is where you know you're on the right track. When you come across the little mud path that kind of obscured by some of the undergrowth. I think it is this way. Let's see. Which I'm, I'm facing south. So yeah, it should be just south from here following along this path and the path goes away oh no 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 i am backing away i think i'm backing away i made the jump aha uh -huh. where are you uh lizard geez where are you oh now i see you that's why I couldn't see him moving around. He got stuck. I think he was stuck. He's got his head down weirdly. Oh, that was easy. Oh. Spider. Here. Where's the spider? Oh. Yes, now. All right. You know what, I'll just harvest the jaguar because it's not wanting to let me target the arrow again. Ah, finally, the drug den. That was that jaguar that has bothered me over here before. He likes to patrol through here, and I'll just be inside and hear him, and he'd just come running and find a way to get inside and get me. Well, I guess it's time to pop a squat, crack a beer. I have yet to use any of my water so far on this trip, surprisingly. All because I keep finding the uh, orange unknown fruit, and that's giving me enough hydration to keep me going. Plus, I had that orange juice. Yeah, taking painkillers. Uh, I think you'd try to salvage something more from here than just that. Like, oh, yeah, maybe I could take the spring and use it out of the uh, microwave or something. Yeah, there's some bananas that have spoiled. I can't get them. Bone knife, no. Not worried about that. And empty cans are better, but cans mean, you know, something useful. Let's see. I have not been through here, so there is additional stuff I need. Oh, yeah, that's also another thing I've been Shit. lucky with Seriously? is a lot of uh, coconuts. And, wow, that, that has taken a moment for it to decide to break fully and actually be like, oh, yeah, you broke this. Fortunately, of course, I brought the extra metal cast. So I can make another axe because you know I wanted to make sure I was prepared this time uh, yeah we're gonna take the pot that is something I've been needing and I still don't know what the wooden spoon is really for a uh, grill rack oh I can make a grill rack now let's see what's the grill rack I would think it's yeah there it is okay the so grill rack just some long sticks and rope not at all a grill rack like this just like oh yeah something i could have figured out on my own or can and the water collector you know for collecting rainwater when putting a i i guess putting like a bidden under it is the good thing because if you just put a shell out for you know coconut whatever it already collects anyway 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm still getting all these unlocks, and apparently that's not playing too nicely with me. Ooh, mud water filter. I have not seen that one yet. And killer trap. Yay, the one I really wanted. And we got more rain coming in. And, of course, one more thing I cannot forget is another rusty machete. The problem is, what am I going to sacrifice? Uh... Oh, those are oh, obsidian spear. I really don't want to sacrifice this. My good attack thing. That's better for utility. Uh, we'll drop the torch. I haven't been using it. Maybe if I come back, I'll get it. Well, I got me another machete. I've got one back at the anaconda camp that I haven't been using, and now I've got a spare. So one advantage of you know having access and using the abandoned camp uh, is that coming from the drug processing facility, if you come out this way to where you got this little waterfall. <laughs> I believe it's, if you go up here, you just keep going along this way, you come out to a spot where you're on a cliff above the uh, area that you are in, like the river part of the section with the abandoned camp, and you can carefully, carefully jump down. Yeah, there we go. And I'm assuming at some point we're going to have an option to create some kind of climbing apparatus to allow us to climb up. Because uh, this, there's another spot in the uh, uh, Anaconda Camp area. That's the same way. I feel like that's just something later we're going to use to climb upwards and get there. But that's not what I was talking about. You go along here. I'm about to do that after I clear some leeches from my skin. Or, or a leech from my skin. Let's try this. Okay, yeah, being careful. You should be able to scoot your way down with no injury like that. And this is now, uh, let me think, where am I at? I know if you follow the river, you're going to get back. This, I think, is where I've had a lot of trouble in the past with a snake spawning right through here as I wander around. But if you follow this, it takes you back to the abandoned camp. And here I am, back at the abandoned village. Uh, it's, it's getting later in the day. Oh, well, at the afternoon. It looks darker because of the rain. Let's see, empty molds. Bunch of empty molds. I do have, uh, oh yes, that's right, having these bowls of water, and see, here's my small fire that actually works correctly, as opposed to the one at the anaconda camp, let's see, all right, let's see, uh, coconut's still good, of course, if you don't chop them for, uh, drinking, like, if you do not take the husk off, the coconuts stay good. And yeah, campfire ash. No, no, uh, hands respawning. Oh, but we do have an ore vein. I'm going to get that before I go to sleep. Hopefully, this is not going to make me pass out. So, this is how much I gathered from this trip. I'm back at the camp. I have four iron ore, two big empty cans, four of the smaller cans. And then under food, I've got a regular small can, a big can. Of course, eating that food will help. I also have a ton of nuts. I have four of the unknown fruit. And what's interesting is I did not drink any of my water I carried. Neither the coconut nor the uh, plastic bin did I use. And I think that attributes to, well, of course, I found a lot of the orange unknown fruit, which gives you a decent little bit of hydration. Not a lot, a decent little bit. And let me go ahead and eat those because those spoil quickly. I found quite a few... Uh, coconuts, uh, you know, drank them, even got the, uh, coconut flesh out to eat. But I think the big thing that helped me on this is that I did something I normally do not do. Normally, I run around like crazy because I'm, you know, eager to get to that next area and get things done and be moving on and doing other stuff. So, I am doing a lot of running, typically, and I made it a point to absolutely 100% avoid running as much as necessary. Basically, only run when I was getting chased by something like headhunters, which I did not encounter any headhunters. So I basically did not run any at all, and I never had to touch the water I carried with me as a result. So yeah, if, if you are finding yourself going through a lot of water that you carry with you as you're out traveling, stop running so much it, it definitely seems to be built more around the realistic aspect of uh calorie consumption like how much you're using 
and running, uh, you're just burning up through more water. So now, what I've got to do is get this thing loaded up with a bunch of charcoal, get it lit, which of course I gave up my torch, and now I'm starting to get a lot of stuttering. Got this, so we're gonna throw the machete. The 100%, 100%. Ooh, gonna drop that. No, actually, I'm gonna take that and put this away. We're gonna drop it in here with these. Next, I'm gonna have to go to that other camp. The one with like four or five headhunters down near the fishing camp and basically kill them so I can get the weapon rack because I definitely want to put one of those up and have it set up and looking all nice. Let's make a torch now that I have that. I don't think I'm going to need anything else to carry. Uh, did I have any in there? Yeah. Wait, wait. No, that's right. I did grab some resin while I was out too. And it's, it's funny. All of a sudden, I'm getting a lot of stuttering as I get back here to the camp. Uh, when I wasn't getting so much elsewhere. But I'm going to get this lit. Perfect timing too because we've got some rain going. Oh yeah, let's see. I said it. It did not affect the shower because I was out of the area when it was raining. Which is not realistic. But it does help, I guess, with the programming. That you don't have to worry about tracking everything and having it all loaded into memory in some aspect. So to say like, oh yeah, it's raining. So we need to track water collection in that shower that's on the other side of the map from where the player is. But the shower is filling up pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Ah. Ah, yes. Ah, and turn off. Okay, so you basically, somewhere I made a cork of some sort. I guess, you know, piece of wood jammed in there is fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess that's all I did. That's basically how it controls it. Wow. Look at that. My torch with the sap is now being put out by the rain. Really? It is supposed to not do that. And now I have the pot. And since it is raining, let me make sure. I, yep, that's, that's outside the area. That should collect some water. So I have six cans uh, three pieces of iron there, one already, you know, melting down. Plenty more iron in production now. That was a good, very useful little trip right there. See how I'm doing on this. I still have a whole bunch of iron ore there. I'm pretty sure I can make another set of iron armor at this point. And I do have my metal spear. Uh, what was that? Fishing rod. How come my fishing rod got knocked out over here? It was, it was back in there. Uh, the metal spear. Yeah, that's 44% durability. So it's not a very good quality one. I will get better, but now I do have a lot of useful stuff, especially the pot, all the cans that I can process. So that's going to help me out tremendously. And I have realized that honestly, based on the map arrangement, the abandoned camp, while it doesn't have quite as many resources in the near vicinity like this one does it does have pathing for animals like the jaguar coming through it is very well situated relative to the uh drug facility to the fishing camp to access to the plane wreck and ultimately to here so the abandoned camp is a very good one to start with uh because you have such easy access to other areas of the game you're going to need and then from there you can move on. And of course, if you don't like the abandoned camp, a short walk away is that little waterfall oasis. I think I might end up going back and building something there a little bit later. But for now, I'm going to continue working here, getting all this iron melted down, ready to go. And at least if I decide to move somewhere else, I have some iron that is more compact to carry with me to a new base location. But that's it for this episode of Green Hell. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button. Leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.